What's up, party people? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need in the first 60 seconds. And if you want more details, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today, we're going to talk about calendar views in SharePoint lists. And will these replace classic calendars and event lists? Stick around to find out. I want to take a minute to say thank you to everyone watching. Thank you to the subscribers, everyone who's commented and liked and supported throughout this year. We have seen an explosion in growth and it's all because of you. Thank you. If you see something you like, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, bell notification so you can know as soon as new content is available. So without further ado, let's get the timer up. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your home page, hit the drop down for new, new list, name that list out of office tracker you're gonna go in you're gonna add a couple of columns you're gonna add a uh, out of office start and out of office end and make those date and time columns then you're gonna go in you're gonna add some line items for each person add some dates and then you're gonna go to the drew the view drop down in the command bar switch it from all items to uh, create view and then you're gonna name that view and then you're gonna uh, in the drop downs you're gonna have the begin date as out of office start, end date, out of office end. Uh, save that view, add some data, and boom, there you go. You got an out of office tracker that could be a list and shows calendar format. Reverse a little bit and slow down and walk through the entire process. First things first, fire off that new list. We're gonna do a blank list. We're gonna call it out. Oh, we'll go oh, 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 out of office tracker. I'm sure there's plenty of better other ways to do this, but maybe this is what you need. Um, or maybe you already have one and you just want to be able to see it in a calendar view. Then this could work for you. All right, show insight navigation. Sure, we'll go ahead and throw it up there. Um, okay, so now we got the title. You know, we could use this or hide it. It could be the person's name. For right now, we're just going to use it for the person's name. Better way would be to add a person column but we can do that maybe later. Anyway, add a column. We need to have a date and time. We gotta have out of office start, date and time, boom. And then we need out of office end. And then we go ba bam like that. Now we gotta start and end. And now we need to, you could either add data now. I guess let's go ahead and add some data now. Let's do that. I wanna, Let's spice it up a little bit. Let's go with uh, where are we at, where are we at, there it is. And then we're gonna, all right, we're, we're gonna go off script a little bit here. Uh, name, person, yep, save. All right, we're gonna do something off script. We're gonna get rid of this. Here, show hide, stop, I don't wanna see it. No, there we go but it's not gone from the form. We gotta hide it from the form. There's another video on, on how to do that, but you're gonna see it here right now. We'll go here. We're gonna turn on some stuff. Don't be messing with a bunch of this stuff if you don't need to. And we're gonna go down here and we're gonna shut that column down. Yo, I think there's a, a faster way to do this, but this is, this is like the original way I learned how to do it, the old school. There's another new school way to do it. But we're going to do it this way since I'm already entrenched in here right now. Hide it from the form. Uh, there's there's a better way. There's a video on it. There's a link, I think. All right, so we're going to go back. So now it shouldn't show up in the form. And we got this and this. We got the start and the end. Uh, let's go ahead and add some stuffs. We'll say Jay is going to do his thing here. We're going to say he's going to be out here. And then he's coming back on that day. And then we're gonna say, let's say Steve. All right, when are you gonna be gone? You're gonna be gone here and you're gonna be coming back on this day. All right, great, we got some vacation, everyone's happy. Okay, now we're gonna go, we're gonna show that in a calendar, create new view, and we're gonna say calendar view calendar. And we got to pick the start and the end and we'll say start and we'll say end create and where's my stuff Bruh. what 
just happened. Why? What? Out of office start, out of office end. Oh, we forgot the uh, to change this field from title to person. So it knows what to be looking for. Name, name. There, that was scary. All right, come on, let's make it happen. Come on, what? Edit current view. What did we do? What's going on here? Am I in the wrong month? No? Okay, let's go back to all events. All items, rather. Oh, huh. they didn't save. I must have forgotten to et, uh, exit grid view. Bruh. Well, lesson learned. Let's see. Uh, let's try that again. Gotta save it, apparently. All right. Makes sense. Data, data, data. All right. Some much needed time off. What's going on here? You can't create a new edit with quick because this is this view is missing one or more required columns. Hold on. Um, it's a list setting. Let's make sure this is that's hidden. All right. Also want to close this back up here. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, see. Oh, so you still have to do it at the list level. Make it not required. Yeah. I guess that's yeah. All right. No. All right. Cool. Shouldn't be showing up in the form either. Let's give it a quick check. Should not see a title. Yep, perfect, good. Okay, so now we can actually get some data in there. The problem was it just wasn't saving the data. Come on, all right. And we're gonna say, da da, and ba bam, and then zip flat, and there we go. Oh, we gotta put a person in here, come on. Now, let's exit grid. We Now we have data, we're gonna refresh. All right, now the thing should work. Goodness gracious. Wow. All right, I guess I am human. Uh, there you go. You've got your calendar view in a SharePoint list. Now, I haven't tested to see if we can make a calendar view in a doc library. That would be weird. That'd be weird. Uh, but you might be wondering, well, can this replace a calendar? Well, or the event list. So if we go into site contents, I don't want to add an app. I don't want to add an app. Bruh. I did not mean to click add an app. We're going to go to site contents and we got list, 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 and events list. This is the, this is the, uh, the container for classic calendar slash modern calendar. It's all kind of the same. Um, it, it, this is the backbone for the modern calendar. So you'll always be able to get to the classic calendar by just going into site contents and just pulling it up here. So this is not the same as the calendar view in a list. And you'll see the, uh, you know, this classic interface is, you know, has certain features and benefits uh, that you're just not going to find in a standard list. Uh, and it's based off of the event content type, I do believe. So it's just a, it's a different animal. So if you're going back to, you know, try and use a, an actual list list to replace an events list, they're not the same same. And I, I don't think they're designed to be. I feel like this feature for a SharePoint list is just another way for you to visualize what's in this list. But the meat of it shouldn't be necessarily, you know, tracking dates alone. Like there should be, you know, probably some other things going on here. And then maybe you're like, okay, I really want to be able to see, you know, all these things sort of grouped by, you know, or according to date when, it, you know, when things are starting and stopping. So I guess it helps if the list items lend, lend themselves to start stopping if they're going to span across days. Or they could be just, you know, one time occurrence things as well. So there you go. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight on what a calendar view is in a SharePoint list and maybe how you could put it to use. Let us know in the comments ways you've used it. Maybe I missed something here or you want to see something else tested. Let us know in the comments. Until then, take it easy. Please like, subscribe, follow, hit that bell notification, and we'll see you next time. Remember, SharePoint rocks and so do you. Take it easy, y'all.